UK MMA has grown a lot over the past five years with more promotions now than ever before. However, because of this, with limited venue dates, you see promotions putting on events at the same time. You'll be fighting at Bama 16, whereas at the same time Cage Warriors 72 will be happening in Newport, Wales. What do you think promotions need to do to help the sport become mainstream over here? I think there's a lot that uh, MMA promotions can do to, to, to help it become more mainstream over here, and one of them is working together a little bit more. Obviously, it helps to have a healthy rivalry. I'm not saying that they all come together after under one banner, but it's good to have uh, maybe one, two or three elite promotions You know that can really set an example uh, to the mainstream press of how uh, British MMA is to be, uh, you know, represented and stuff. But as far as pushing it more to the mainstream with, with the current promotions such as Cage Warriors and Bama, I think the moves that they're making are the right, the right moves. I think the competition is healthy. I just think it's... It just needs to be something that carries it across to the mainstream British public. And I know uh, it might not be good to say, and a lot of MMA people might not might not back me on this, but the whole Katie Price and Alex Reed thing was, although it, you know, Alex Reed wasn't one of the biggest MMA fighters, one of the most successful fighters, it did a lot to carry the sport across the mainstream. I'm not saying that we need another MMA fighter to go out <laughs> with a paid free model or, or someone super famous, but. You know, it needs something like that to, to help it carry across. I don't know, send uh, Graham Boyle in on catchphrase or something like that. You know, something to something to get the uh, mainstream people in, interested. It's not gonna, it ain't gonna be easy. We need to, you, know, you need to uh, sort of invade. You know, this is the the only way is Essex. You need to invade uh, Holly Oaks and all these popular programs. You know, Celebrity Big Brother stuff like this, in order to to to, to open some eyes and then we can go from there. Just as a follow-on to that, do you feel that UK MMA has a pull where it could go to shows like Hollyoaks and Emmerdale and make an impact? Well, I think they, they, I think UK MMA definitely has the potential to go to, to uh, mainstream shows and make an impact. And I think there are connections there already with uh, Cage Warriors being on Channel Channel 4 now and uh, Bama previously being on uh, Channel 5. There's definitely avenues where they can uh, explore like a, a mainstream crossover and I think Soon enough, it will be done if they want uh, British MMA to succeed in, in, you know, in the UK. Undoubtedly, you're one of the biggest names in UK MMA. You're going over to Bellator in America. Do you think you're leaving it in capable hands over here? Yeah, um, I definitely think I'm leaving uh, the MMA scene in capable hands over here. There's a lot of great up-and-coming talented fighters. One that I mentioned earlier, Walter Gahadza, is here down training with me, 14-0 elite fighter from TSG, you know, one of the very few fighters that I've been uh, impressed with, that I've uh, asked to come back, you know, that gives me good work, um, beats me up a little bit, you know, not many people do that and is extremely talented in all areas. So, uh, Leon, the current champion over at Bama, again, another great fighter. Uh, Brendan uh, Locklane, I think his name is, another talented fighter here on the British scene. There's a lot of guys um, to take care of business. Guys with character as well, not just guys who, who are capable of fighting, but guys that can also uh, carry the sport forward. Following on with that, um, do you feel that here in the UK we have the right gym set up to propel fighters to the level that needs to be? You know, we can look at um, Ireland and John Cavanaugh's gym, Conor McGregor, Cafal Pendrick, Gunnar Nelson, yeah. those guys coming out of that gym. Do you think we have that here in the UK? Uh, obviously, in terms of elite facilities, there are very few. You've got a uh, full contact fighter, Martin Stapleton's thing, um, London Shoot Fighters, another uh, really put together, well put together gym, Cowbon, another well put together gym. There, there's not many elite facilities, but there is very good instruction, and I think it's uh, a matter of just a, no matter what facility you have, it's a matter of putting together a, an elite team of people. Um, that can work together because sometimes you can put a great group of people together that's not going to work together they don't get on or whatever they're not on the same wavelength you need to find an elite team of instructors that can communicate and understand the sport because a lot of people don't under understand the sport I could go on about this for, for days um, but I look a lot into combat sports and stuff like that uh, so yeah, yeah I think there are 
in terms of facilities, we don't have a lot of fantastic facilities, but we do have a lot of fantastic instructors. And it just, as an individual, I myself, although I'm, I'm Spirit Dojo, I'm Team Spirit Dojo, I encourage all my guys to create their own teams. I think you need a team of people around that can focus on you. And that's how we're going to get to that high level. That's how uh, you're going to get more and more elite fighters like Conor McGregor. And, and I know he's got John Kavanagh as his head coach, but I'm sure... Connor also has a great conditioning coach. He's just the main focus, great boxing coach, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, where it's just uh, him, you know, he's not, they're not concentrating on the whole team. It's Connor time, and that's how you're going to, uh, you know, continue to, to get British uh, fighters and Irish fighters uh, competing at an elite level.